Hello, it is my turn with this car, the Proton X70. So much has been said about it by so many people that I don't want to add to the noise. So I'll be very brief and concise, right to the point. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the entry level Volvo. was given a ride in it. I was wondering which outside expert did Geely engage to sort out the ride and handling. Because obviously they needed some help because, because the ride quality is way above what most car companies can achieve on their own. And then I remembered Geely owns Volvo. Maybe they still have some outside help because Right and handling is a very, it's like black art. It requires a lot of expertise and big budget to sort out. And this, this particular vehicle has this right and handling package very well sorted out. But the fact remains that a lot of the values of this car, what it is, and how it goes, the features, the equipment, the DNA is from Volvo. Think about that. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Couldn't find any fault. Any defects or things not properly put right in this car. I'm rendered speechless when it comes to finding fault. And when you can render me speechless when it comes to finding fault, a lot of people tell you that is quite an achievement. Not so obvious places. Everything has been so well put together and finished. You have to salute the corporate culture, the political will to stay the course, to deliver a car that's obviously punching so high above his weight. It embarrasses a lot of car companies with a lot more expensive models than this. And I think this is a permanent thing. It's not a one-off. You can't get a fluke like this. This car comes from a team in a factory and facilities that is geared for very high quality production values. I am speechless. So good. Every bit of it, every part of it is Excellent quality, so well put together, choice of material, workmanship. What the price is asking is really unbelievable. Classy, really classy. That they could easily have cut costs in so many places like most other cars. believe that this car comes from China. <laughs> so how did Gilly do it? <clears throat> Actually Gilly didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I mean all this level of equipment, technologies, everything is available. What they achieved, which is very admirable, is they took this category of vehicle to the level of an entry level Volvo and still manage to keep the price this realistic. It's not rocket science, but no other car manufacturer would do that because it didn't make sense. It wasn't necessary because the industry never expect. The market never expects something like that so radical. So radical. There's nothing to gain from it. But Geely, now with the benefit of hindsight, has a lot to gain from something like this. If you think about cost effectiveness, Gilly has the ability to reach economy of scale to make this all very worthwhile. The amazing thing is how they managed to get all their component suppliers to toe the line, to share this vision of delivering such quality to a car of this category and to, be, and to ensure that they get returns on their investment. Truly amazing. Really, really amazing. And you need to ask is how did Geely, this Chinese
company managed to reach this level of decisiveness, far-sightedness, big-heartedness. I mean, this is something that you never expect from a Chinese entity, right? It requires such a change of mindset, political will. I am guessing it's the same drive that enabled China now to have the most number of bullet train and the biggest network of this train crisscrossing this huge country and also which explained the dominance, the prominence and dominance of brands like Huawei and Vivo and Oppo, very high tech envelope pushing product done so well and marketed so well, so pleasing and creating very loyal fans and a lot of respect for the country. China has changed so much and this car, even though it's branded a Proton, is quite a call card. I would love to tap the brains of the people responsible for not only this car but the whole seismic change that enable them to define the direction they wanted to take, the complete change of attitude and culture and the state of course and come up with the end result that's so true to its, I'm sure it's objective and maybe above what they expected. Cars like this, products like this is going to change the world view of China. Wouldn't it be great? to talk to those people who made this all possible and this is just the beginning. Start Chinese car makers have managed to achieve something that South Korean could never do and not from a lack of trying. That something is to make the Japanese car makers very worried and I'm talking about worrying all the way to the level of the Honda CRV. Just imagine that this 100,000 ringgit car is posing a serious threat to the likes of the Honda CRV. For sure, Gili has raised the bar impossibly high. They are forcing the other Asian car makers to go back to the drawing board, revise their profit forecasts, drastically adjust their profitability for each and every one of the cars they make because Geely has pushed the envelope so dramatically the game has changed and the beneficiary of all this will be you and I, the car buyers because you're, you're going to get a lot more cars for the money you spend Isn't that something to be thankful for? If you are pissed off by the knowledge that a Chinese company once again have stolen technology from the West you have to know that Ford did the very same thing with Volvo. Some 20 years ago, Ford bought Volvo, lock, stock and barrel, for the express purpose of getting access to the very extensive data and technology, particularly with vehicular safety. And they use a lot of those features for their own model, particularly the uh, Explorer, the high-end SUV. Of it. But it was so US centric that very few people outside of US and even in the US got to experience all those features unlike what Gili is doing. So are you still angry? See it, there are three logical reasons why you wouldn't buy this if you are shopping for something in this price category or even all the way up to 180,000. The first reason is you really have something against this brand. The second reason is, is you really love the brand that you are buying instead of this. And the third reason is you just don't want to be another one of those thousands running around with this vehicle because this is going to sell by the hundreds of thousands. <laughs> it's so unbeatable and so difficult to refuse value for money. If you really want to be different, you have to pay a premium for something which doesn't feel like it justifies the car kind of price. This car is so well presented. Seriously. The test car I had just before this was the Renault Capital. 
in my video I strongly recommended that you guys go and try it out because you get to experience a sort of right quality plushness in a right in a 120,000 ringgit car that most the majority of our cars here available even up to the 200,000 ringgit range just cannot cannot match but after having driven this I've been proven wrong by a car which is this particular even at 99,000 entry level still I suppose the price like this a Proton X70 would wipe the floor with a car like the French Renault Captor and its similar things. If you actually buy one of those, after having tried this, you can be considered a lunatic. That you want to be so different that you become perverse. Because not only does this car offer the sort of right quality, it has everything that makes car ownership so pleasant and so stress-free. This car is tremendous value for money. Hi Proton. This feature of the X70 has been commented on by everybody who's out there on a blog and coffee shop. So there's not much I can say except is this going to make more Malaysians speak proper English where all else seem to have failed? I mean there's no Bahasa version so far. So even the Pachi and Ape all have to learn to speak proper English if they want to have a meaningful conversation with this car. That's amazing, isn't it? Or is some radical group going to protest that they are English, English-sizing Malaysian culture? <laughs> wow, development. This is a winner. There is no question about it. And it's a winner spelled with all capital letters with three exclamation marks. This is a definite game changer in the industry, not only here but on a global scale. And it's a Proton or a Rebatch Geely, China.